When the angels had left them and gone into, the, into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing what that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the ma manger when they had seen him. They spread the word concerning what had been told to them about this child and who heard it were amazed at it, at what the shepherds had said to them. The shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. Luke chapter two, verses 15 through 20. Many have praised and preached about the shepherds on the eventful night so many, so many years ago. Some say we pre present, represent the common folk, the ordinary person in the street. Someone just like you, in fact, we were of such low esteem that we were not allowed to be a witness in court. We know that we were chosen for a much higher task than mere city court. I know that I was chosen much more than any other young man at my time. I did not want to work that evening. I wanted to go into town with my friends. We knew there would be a lot of activity with all the tourists in town. We wanted to be a part of it, but I never anticipated in my wildest dreams that I would be a part of something that night that would change the world as we knew it forever. So I was a reluctant participant, but enough of an anxious youth to want to see what was going on. Some say the sheep we watched were special and used for the holy sacrifices in the temple. Some say we were wrong to leave the sheep on that holy night after they had been terrorized by the angels singing. Some have said we were outcasts, scourgers, maybe even crooks. Yes, we were sinners, not as activists, as some want to think, but we were in need of a savior just as the world is today. We need to be at the cradle of the, our Lord just as sinners do today. We were common citizens, part of God's creation, just like you but we were selected by God to see this magnificent sight. And we were chosen by God to hear the angels sing. What, what wonderful priv privilege. Can you hear the angels singing? Later on, after Jesus sang, began his ministry, he referred to himself as a shepherd. And today he is the shepherd to us. He cares for us all the time, just like a good shepherd. What do you know about us? You don't know who we were or why we were out there with our flocks in the middle of the night? When some sensible and responsible shepherds would surely have had their sheep safely tucked into the fold, it would never have left them, especially after such a terrifying experience. But we were chosen, and Luke tells you the beautiful story of that night that forever changed our lives and yours. It was never described as terrifying by us. We saw it as a time of honor, glory, and majesty. We knew our sheep were in good hands. We beheld the angels of the Lord and listened to their voices. What's so great about that? The Bible says, and the shepherds return glorified and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen. We were all so blessed that night, but I was the only shepherd who lived also to see our Savior crucified on the cross. For many years, my older brother, my father, and my grandfather told the story of that eventful night, but few believed because Christ had not worked any miracles before they were called to heaven to be with the Father. I had the blessing of seeing this young baby that we worshiped so long ago as he grew to manhood worked his miracles among the people, and then gave his life on the cross at Calvary so that all who believed in him would have eternal life. We have a God who 
whose love will never let us go. You will search us out like a shepherd after his sheep. He will walk with us down the daily paths of life, even unto death. We are God's children. We have been strengthened and redeemed. We are a part of God's internal kingdom. We need not, we need not fear. We glorified and praised God for all we had heard and seen. We will never be the same again. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, during the time of King Herod, Magi from East came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose and have come to worship him. We had been on many excursions before, but none that seemed as futile as this one at the beginning. We were following a star. We had little knowledge of exactly why we were going or what we were expecting to find. Oh, we knew we were going to see a king, but what kind of king? No one charted the course. We just took off and followed the star as though we were being led by a power far greater than we had ever known before. When we arrived, the parents seemed sincere and perplexed by all the notice they were receiving. And I think they were a little fearful too, especially the mother. The child seemed quite normal. The parents were very loving and protective. Although there was nothing that sent up a red flag, we knew we were in the presence of something special. We presented our characteristic gifts, frankincense, myrrh, and even a little gold. We had carried those gifts a long way, and it was wonderful to be able to finally present them. We arrived on the scene wary from a long journey. We'd been told about the birth on the way. We had been told that shepherds heard the angels singing, that people in the streets had seen something special in the sky that night, and that some had even felt the touch of God. But all the sheep and shepherds we saw appeared quite normal, and no one was talking about a king. But our mission was not to see the birth. Our privilege was to protect this king from the men on earth who did not understand that this was the Son of God. We speak of this infant in very vague terms. We felt the journey was important, but the sight of the baby was not the end. I guess we expected to see the sky open and the stars rearrange themselves and tell us why we had done this. But nothing happened. We even spoke to King Herod about it on the way hoping to find some answers, but he could only speculate that there was some imposter out there trying to take his throne. His advisors had said a babe would be born in the city of David in Bethlehem. Then, as we adored this young child, we realized that God was present in everything we had done. After we had seen the young child, we rested before starting on a journey home. Herod had asked us to go by his place again and tell him where the young child was. Herod claimed he wanted to go and worship him as well, but God appeared to us in a dream and told us we should return by another route, so that is what we did. Many never knew of our journey or cared. We had seen the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, and no other astrologer cared. It was never written up in any scholarly journals, but we knew we had been in the presence of God. We knew why no one else knew about it, but yet we wanted the whole world to know. We had been chosen from all the others to take this mission and follow a star that was only visible to us. We were willing to take the journey on faith. Are you willing to set out on faith today and follow wherever he may lead you? Oh, what a blessing we received because we had faith that the faith of a child. Herod didn't take it too lightly. When we didn't return, he became indigenous and was so upset that he had made a proclamation to kill all the young boys less than two years of age, thinking that he would certainly rid, uh, certainly rid of the world of this king that threatened him and his power. If he had only known that this king's kingdom was not in of this world. We had joined a select few, the angel, the shepherds, the animals, the innkeeper. 
those chosen to witness this wonderful deed of coming of our Savior into this world. We had completed our mission. We had given our meager gifts and received in turn the wonderful gift that would never let us leave this, lead the same kind of life again. We had the gift of eternal life. We had no fear. We had followed a star that led us to the heavenly king. Some have called us wise. Some thought we were foolhardy. But all we really were were ones who had come to worship a king. Won't you join us in this day in worshiping our Savior and worshiping him?